Uh, Tron guy, you have a question. Yeah, I was asking them that earlier too. Yeah, and what? And how you might deal with that? Yeah. So we were talking about this before. You know, um, I teach classes on internet research, and I have a lot of students, and I always tell them um, you have to assume that anything that you put on the internet will be there forever, um, for the rest of your lives, um, and can be replicated. And you know, so don't make anything public that you you wouldn't you know, wear on a t-shirt, um, but you guys have t-shirts of yourselves, so that's good. Um, so, so do you ever think about, um, you know, there, there's no bullying happening for you right now, David, but do you think maybe, I don't know, 10 years from now, like, are you, do you worry about that? No. <laughs> why, why not? Do you, what, do you think that's a silly question? Kind if, of. You can be honest, okay. Kind How come? Of. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but I just don't think it's going to happen. You just don't think it's going to happen? I mean, to me, it's just like anything else. You just, um, I mean, you just take life as it comes. And I mean, we could have tried to not do, you know, not embrace this. And, you know, who knows what have happened. But, you know, we'll just deal with that when it comes. But, I, I you know, this is such a small part of David's life. And... We try to make him a well-rounded kid, and uh, he's good in school, he's good in sports, and so this is, you know, such a, even though it is a big deal and a special thing, it's such a small part of his, um, you know, his life, and um, I, I just don't see it, you know, totally changing when he gets to be a teenager to something uh, negative, but for whatever reason, if it does, we'll just we'll deal with it, just like, you know, every parent has to do, so. We you guys have had positive experiences, and I'm sure a lot of folks in the room know of internet famous kids who have not had positive experiences. Um, do you see yourselves, at, are you aware of other kids um, on the internet? Like David, have you watched Rebecca Black's video, or have you seen Star Wars Kid, or have you seen like other kids on the internet? Do you ever, do you ever think about, hey, I'm in that same category? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? Mm -hmm. Does it make you it, does it make you happy that you're that you're famous like they are? Yes. <laughs> yeah, how come? Cuz uh, there's a lot of other kids like me in the world and to be and to be uh, one of the ones picked to be famous like mm -hmm. this is like really cool. It's to be one of the ones to be picked to be famous like this is really cool. Sammy, do you think it's cool to be famous? Uh, um, yeah, but when I, I was at the beach when I was a baby, that means I put sand in my mouth and put sand in my hand. Right. <laughs> William, do you ever want to be famous like your brother? Um, do you want to be famous like David? Yes. Yes. Do you want to make videos with your dad? Yes. Do you guys have a camera in your car all the time? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Those of you who are parents might, uh, we were talking about this before, parents, um, especially of, of, of um, more than one kid, you know, know that it's that time in the car um, when you're like going to school or when you're coming home from something and the kids are talking to each other, that's the funniest part of the whole day. Right. Is that where you kind of got the idea to put the camera? Right. That, you know, we've, just real quick, we just, you know, one of the questions we have, well, what do we do with this? You know, what do we do next? And we, you know, we did a few videos, but we didn't really know, you know, what we were doing. And so I just didn't really want to force anything. You wanted we to keep it authentic. And so I'd rather do nothing than, you know, kind of mess up and taint what we had so um we just didn't do anything for a few years and um as william and and david have you know grown up and seeing that banter going back and forth um i just realized that that is the funniest thing that that i i could ever do so uh 
Um, they didn't really want to do any scripted videos, and I didn't want to force anything. So I said, well, let's just set up a camera and, you know, in the back of the, you know, hook to the rear view mirror. And it makes me laugh if that's all that happens. Hey, that's great. Do you have you know, just, like, great. hard drives full of yeah. videos of these guys? Yeah, yeah. And so, how much time do you spend editing? I mean, do you, do you well, regularly I, edit these? I, I've only posted the one. You know, we just kind of got back into it. It's um, from a few summers ago, and we'll, you'll have to go see it. It's, it's really funny. It's David after Dennis, it's the cop. So, um, Will. And William has a starring role yeah, in that Yeah, Will one. is the star of it, but Will was, we were at a gas station, so he was out of his seatbelt. It's okay, because we were at a gas station. The car was parked. The car was parked, and, <laughs> huh? The what part? No, I don't know what you're saying. But anyway, he sees a cop, and he thinks the cop is going to take him to jail for not having a seatbelt oh. on. So, uh, so you'll have to go. It's on our channel. So just go check it out. I think there's some screaming involved in that one too, right? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. You say it. No. What do you say in the video, William? Do you remember? What do you say in the video? It's the cops. When you see the cops. Oh, the shoe thing. He can't yeah. find his shoes. So what do you say? <laughs> You'll get it when you see it. So. <laughs> uh, let's take one more question. Any more questions? Or we answer? Oh, you right here. Was there ever a parody video um, that you Oh, I think we mentioned oh, the chat video one too. I, I was, were there, oh my gosh, there's there's a million parody videos. So. But um, our, our all-time favorite is, is Chad Vader, is Chad after Dennis, and it was is really Chad cool. Is Chad Vader here now? Yeah, they were, they were here last time, and that was the first time we got to meet them, and um, that one was, that was just really cool to, to meet those guys, and they did a really, uh, really good job. So I'm glad to see they're still, still doing it, too. So they're really funny. I've seen Sammy, uh, that picture will be, you know, next to a lot of like Patton Oswalt. That's my favorite, I think. Say it again. <laughs> the Patton Oswalt. They have oh, this Patton Oswalt. picture. Like, yeah. Like the, he looks like Patton Oswalt in yeah. that his success kid picture. So that's good. And then I saw. I don't know if he was really doing it, but Ryan Gosling. They have it like he was doing the success kid thing. I don't know if that's what he was really doing, but that's. But, oh, the, good. I haven't seen the Ryan Gosling yeah, one. Yeah, he was just like walking and he's kind of making this snarl and nice. kind of looks like yeah. So I don't know if he really was, but that'd be kind of cool. But I think Pat Oswalt does look like. Same yeah, as it may be. It, it struck me like the past couple of days when people have been um, showing, especially on the yesterday when um, we saw a lot of clips of a lot of memes of a lot of kids. Um, I'm remembering the nipples one from Brazil, and uh, and I, those don't seem to be as positive um, experiences as as you guys have had. Um, do you think if, if it were a more negative experience for you that you'd be sitting here happily participating voluntarily? Well, I mean, like I mentioned before, you know, I've, I've had my share of, you know, criticism, you know, involving this, um, you know, newspaper articles, uh, Bill O'Reilly, you know, you <laughs> name it. I, but, uh, so I, but I understand what you're saying, that those are totally negative. So, you know, that while, we have had some negativity. There is some, you know, mostly positive that has to do with. So um, the only thing I can say is, you know, kind of going back to your reference to the Star Wars kid, we kind of use that as somewhat of a, a guideline to, um, you know, even though I understand why he reacted the, the way he did, and I, I've, you know, felt totally sorry because he didn't, you know, mean for that to happen, but they really tried to, um, reject that and, and kind of put it back in the in the box and I just wonder what would have happened if he had just embraced it you know if he had the I don't know what kind of support system he had or anything but it just seemed like that not embracing it just made it worse so it's a tough call but that you know that was kind of where we were it was a little bit more negative slant at the beginning so that's kind of where we were um, leaning but it is a, a huge you know concern and you know question if, if something like that is totally negative toward your kids. So mm -hmm. it's a difficult one to answer, even though we've had some criticism. I think if it would have stayed as the, I'm a F you up. Uh, I'm an F you up one. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, if his picture would have stayed associated with that, I don't, or even I hate sandcastles. I don't know if I would have embraced but it But because so it became success because, kid. Yeah, because and it Thank became you. something that people really Will you sign your liked. name on it? That's, That's you? Me. 
Nice. Will you put your name on it for me? Yeah. Cool. I think I wouldn't have been as enthusiastic to talk right, about so if, it. Right. So if it hadn't sort of transformed into a positive, I mean, not like I don't cuss or anything, but I mean, I'm not like some Puritan, but I that just I don't know. With your baby, it's just kind of a weird. Right. Uh, and it just didn't. I don't know. This seems to make people happier, and they write funny stuff, you know, with the success kid picture. So yeah. What do you wish that people knew that, that you, you never really get to say? Thank you. Uh, I got it. I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, Sammy is just a regular little kid. And we don't ever really, I mean, we've never been recognized anywhere. He doesn't really look totally like his picture now. Uh, it wasn't until we got here that he ever signed an autograph or people wanted to have their picture taken with him. Uh, but. You know, he likes dinosaurs. He knows a lot of dinosaurs. He's a really good artist. He draws a lot. He loves drawing killer clowns for some reason, the killer clowns from outer space. He likes killer clowns from mm -hmm. outer space? Yeah, that's his big thing. I mean, he's drawn so many of them. And uh, yeah, I mean, he just, he's got a lot of other, and he's really funny. He's really funny like every day. So he does a lot of cool dances. And you maintain your <laughs> Flickr page. Like, you still have. All, yeah. A lot of these photos. Right, but I don't, I rarely post anymore. Okay. Um, just because I've moved on to other sites. Okay. I do Instagram a lot, and I don't really get out my big camera anymore as much, not as much, but uh, so I just, Instagram's so much easier to just take it on my phone and yeah. post, but yeah, I still have that site up. I still have that original posting. Of that, of that picture. I named it Why I Oughta, because I thought that's kind of the face he was making. Uh, but yeah, it's a, still up there. OK. Any other questions from the audience? Yeah, one more in the center. Oh, yeah, he does it all. He you want to do success, that. kid? Yeah, do can your you success, kid. Can you, can you do your success, kid, face for us, Sammy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he actually does that all the time. So yeah, yeah he like David. Do you think you guys will keep in touch after this? Yes. You want to hang out with uh, William? Do you want to hang out with uh, with Sam sometime? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do what do you guys want to do? Do you have connect? Go to the beach and eat some sand. Yeah, go to the beach and eat some sand. Okay, that's a good place to end. Thank you guys.